creating a scope box. A scope box is something that we can limit the boundary of the visibility or uh, so that we can limit the boundary for the visibility of the datum planes. So the datum planes in Revit are infinite and they extend all the way through our project. So we can basically build a little rectangle around our project and we can limit then those visibility of those datum planes to within that area. So we're going to create a scope box by going up to the view tab. And in the view tab we're going to go into the create panel. We're going to go over here um, to to our scope box. In our scope box we're going to pick on this to control a box. So we pick on this and we get a name for this call, uh, this here and uh, and then I get a height of how big this scope box is and uh, you know then I, I have four floors and it's 10 feet of floor so that's why it's 40 feet and then it'll ask me to pick the place for the corner of the scope box. I'm going to pick it just outside of my my views here. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to pick my other view and I'm going to place it right there. And what I get is these drag controls, these blue double arrows. And I'll get a rotation control over here. I can rotate this if I need to. And, uh, and then this dotted line is my scope box. So you'll see over here I have the properties of my scope box becomes uh, in the properties box. And so essentially uh, I can come down here and I can come in here and I can give it a name. I'll, I'll call this, uh, you know, example. And I can say apply. And once I apply this, I uh, end up now with that scope box uh, being uh, uh, applied and created as a scope box.